we can now move on to a regression job uh, we take we load some data because we are doing uh, we are taking the data from directly from internet so here is a, a data set uh, related to some uh, characteristics uh, uh, that lead to having uh, um, to, to, to risk of diab diabetes and the uh, output is a, a numerical uh, value, a quantitative value of uh, diabetes progression in uh, several patients given to their characteristics like their weight, their obese uh, factor, their age and so on. So <coughs> All variables are uh, continuous except one uh, where is uh, well they, they we can consider the age as continuous even if it is integer we can uh, the the one only that is categorical is the sex so we need to uh, encode uh, the sex variable and uh, uh, it takes some time to again to compile the first time to compile all these packages here here we are so we one out encoded the 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 sex and uh, we take as x uh, the age then we take the the other uh, variables so here the variables are here it should be here uh, data You can see that the print uh, dynamically adapts. So we have age, we have sex, and then we have all these, the third, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, and 10 uh, numerical uh, value, uh, numerical uh, data as X, and then the Y is uh, the, the last one, the 11th column. So we take it. Okay, and again we run the partition with the X and Y, 80 and 20%. We do exactly like we did earlier, there is nothing changing. We take one layer uh, starting with 11 because our X now has 11, uh, 11 uh, dimensions. We take uh, L2, uh, second layer, we take the third layer and uh, we use as further layer activation function as well we take ReLU because our Y is uh, all positive uh, numbers and we just take the squared cost as a, a cost uh, function of the wall network as a loss, uh, loss function. We do train the, the model scaling the, the X and uh, after we done the training, how uh, many uh, should be 100 epoch? No, epoch six, 600 epoch, sorry. We predict the value, and you can see here that again is uh, um, here we have a, a, a vector of, of elements because the, f the squared cost, uh, sorry, the relu uh, is. Uh, um, is making a single uh, a single uh, a scalar and uh, uh, here we compute the relative uh, mean error so this function here mean relative error compute the mean relative error so first compute the relative error and then compute the mean of that. Sometimes uh, when you have a variable that could be uh, around zero, this is not very good because uh, the relative uh, error of something that is uh, the difference between zero and uh, 0 0.1 is infinite. So we do not uh, normalize by, by the record and by non-normalizing, instead of the mean relative error, we get the relative mean error that is somehow more more stable we could use any metric we want eh? we could use the mean uh, error and so on uh, just find uh, that the the uh, the relative uh, mean error is somehow more intuitive to 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 judge so we can 
plot. So we saved here the, the result of the training uh, operation in this training logs and we can export the uh, error by, by epoch and we can hence plot it. Again, the first time you plot it takes some time. I'm taking here from the tenth element because otherwise we will see very little because it will be dominated on the scale of the error or the first ten elements. So here is it. Here is, is the plot, and we can see how the error continues. We could have continued and do it, uh, uh, continue to to train the model. We could have just train a little bit uh, more but it's fine for, for, for us now. So, so we can plot uh, the scatters of uh, observed value against the estimated. Again, if we train more, we'll, this point will converge across the, 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 the line here.